before this vlog starts i just want to like i want y'all to know that this isn't like a logan paul type of video like i'm not with that but this video is to show you guys about my life about um my culture about different lifestyles and just different things people do when unfortunately somebody's gone and somebody has unfortunately passed away um and you know what i mean i'll be my dad but this video also just so you know y'all family y'all keep up with everything i do y'all listen to the podcast y'all know everything about my life and this something big that happened in my life within the last couple months and i feel like i had to um make you guys part of it i didn't want to be disrespectful towards my sisters towards my family so we did cut a lot of things out, a lot of personal things but other than most of it it was just really just you know my dad's finally at peace after everything he's gone through after everything he went through drug addiction being homeless and tj just crazy and me and my sisters are um want to do a podcast where we just talk about our lives and they want to get into you know we'll give you guys more details but just know this vlog wasn't maliciously done it's really just about a celebration of life you know what i'm saying and um yeah so i hope you guys like the vlog and my sisters do have a message at the end of the vlog you know i had to let them know like look this this is your dad too i did vlog you so i want you guys to you know say your piece at the end so make sure you enjoy the vlog not have fun with it because that sounds crazy like have fun with the vlog but like you know enjoy it just know the celebration of life and we felt good and we're finally at peace so thank you make sure you like comment subscribe we are back with another vlog this one it is not a normal one today we are finally burying my dad after a long process i'm right here with the fake widow mom say what's up Hola. my mom's a fake widow she left my dad before he died so you're not a beauty Mom, you a fake ass widow, fool. I texted Andres, hey, we're gonna vlog my dad's funeral. And he didn't know what to But it's, you know, it's, it's for good memory, you know what I mean? As much as I talk, you know, he was still a good dad when he was okay, and you know, we were finna live it up today. Y'all finna see the little difference between like, like my family with rockers and shit, so we all wore all black, and just different things, you know what I mean? But it's finna be a good vibe. <laughs> Shut your emotional ass up. I said, me and my sister, today is Saturday, May 6th. Uh, uh, May 2nd, actually, on Tuesday. Me and my sister Cookie went to TJ to bury him out from where he was buried. But I've been explaining it to everybody where when you bury somebody out in Mexico, when they don't claim their bodies after a month of death, it's a super long process. So he was number 12. No, he was number 13 out of the 15 bodies in a grave. So me and my sister saw 12 bodies get taken out before we, we identified his. And that shit just looks crazy. Yeah, I mean, we finna do it up for his long boys, you know what I mean? I really like the cemetery. My homie Mott's buried there. A couple people I know is buried there is very peaceful, very nice cemetery in Glendale. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, I'll pay my pot. But we also, you know, we finna celebrate life. He's no longer suffering. He's no longer on the streets. You know what I mean? That fool would have told me to do a vlog if he wasn't on crack. So, you know, we'll be okay. You already drinking that church, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Look at Guts. You're living it up today. <laughs> I'll let you guys, your car is back outside. Um, it is temporary. Temporary. You feel me? I have to show off for my brother right here, man. Oh, you're lying, bro. That shit don't hurt. That shit, bro, don't fucking touch it, bro. And hey, yeah, no, I can't fall again, bro. I, I fell up in cribs. That shit was bad, bro. Hey, take out my chair. Take out my chair. No, no, I have a chair. I have a chair. Bro, just stand up, bro. Not nah, nigga, this shit. The blood goes down to bro, my foot. Bro, there's chairs inside. The blood goes down to my foot. The blood goes down to my foot. Hey, Listen to hey, Martin. Can we be on a serious note today, guys? Hey, they cool. I put Nigga, I'm trying to be serious. My foot fucking Stop. broke. Bro, this nigga. Yeah, yeah, estamos entrando.
What happened? Who? Never, nigga. Turtle. The rock. Hey, this nigga said. Don't kiss him, nigga. That's a that's a flick. Take it up, bro. On the low, on the low, on the low. Oh, on the low. Shut, shut, shut. Andrew! They look like a Morato. Did you take a shot? Oh, look at this. 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 Oh, look at Man, bro, but if it was to go to the block, how you feel would have been there on time, bro? You didn't, you didn't, you would have been there on time, homie. Yeah, What's up? Yeah, I'm done. On the low, on the low. Yeah, you weren't supposed to drink it. Was... Hey, bring the bottle! Keep it, keep it. I was taking a break. Who? You know what's crazy? We all came from the afters over here to the funeral. We had a bender and came straight to the funeral. Hey, you have more beer? That's crazy. That's crazy. crazy, man. Chase it, chase it. Chase it, chase it. Exactly what it says. On the Wait, so what did your bio say? I'm high 99.8% of the time. And my IG. And my IG. Don't do that. It says Gemini. Gemini curvy? Oh, you lying. I'm not curvy, Danny. If we're using a dating app, it's crazy. Cause don't think I'm catfishing. I see one that said like Robert Diaz loves to hike. Like and it said like the type of model car they had. I was like, at the moment I drove like a Nissan Altima. <laughs> Alright, bro, Alright, bro. How does it work? You swipe like Tinder? I put no to every. I was putting no to everybody though. Hey, you had a cheese ball before? I'm verifying our cheese ball, huh? <laughs> 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 
I got a blue badge, homie. You should have to use that. No, I mean, it depends. It depends. It depends what it is, you know. People use it to just fuck around, but some people, like, it's otherwise. Like, it's otherwise. I wasn't trying to fuck around, but what if I was? Yo tuve que ir a Tijuana y todo y honestamente mi papá no quisiera nada más que estar aquí con ustedes. Bueno. So, honestamente vamos a, you know, ponerlos bien pedos y a rocar Vamos a tener un, un 10 segundos de silencio para mi papá, ¿ok? So, a las 3. Espérense, a las 3. A las 3, 2, 1. A moment of silence. A little 10 second moment of silence for my dad, please. One, two, three. para todas las muñequitas sintéticas
person I know it sucks things turn out the way they did but I am so glad we were able to bring you back from Mexico and have you a little closer to us I know people would judge the way we celebrated your life but a hundred percent sure that's what you would have wanted you wanted us to party and celebrate your life you were a crazy ass guy and we all know that we love you we miss you and there's no other words I could say but I love you dad and until we meet again hi I'm cookie I'm very happy at the fact that we were finally able to lay him to rest. If you know, you know that I'm the one that had to do all the TJ trips. I had to identify him in pictures and in person. And all of that is so mentally draining. So with everything being done, I finally came at peace with the realization that he's no longer with us. And... I'm happy of the turnout of how we said goodbye to him because that's exactly how he would want to how he would want us to say goodbye to him with the rock band his homies and his kids and all I gotta say is I love you dad I hope you're proud of us and I hope you see that no matter what and no matter just no matter what we always loved you no matter what and we continue to love you bye Hi guys. Well, first of all, I want to start off by um, saying thank you to everybody who was there for me and my siblings throughout the whole process, not just the services or the fundraisers, but since he went missing, just, you know, texting us, communicating with us, um, trying to see how we were because it was a really long, hard process. I think the worst part was not knowing nothing about him for those couple of months because I was worried if he was suffering, if he was okay. Just the thought of never finding him was crazy. And there's hundreds of people that are missing in TJ every day. And we are we are very, very, very lucky to have found them through um, DNA samples. Um, I also wanna thank my siblings, um, Adriana. I mean, Adriana, of course, we're always being there. Um, but Cookie and Danny, because I know what they went through to find him, what they had to see wasn't easy. And I know they're going to have to like see that, not erase that from their memories. But I know they did it so that me and Adriana would get closure and of course for themselves and for all of us to have them closer. But I am very thankful for that. We may not see eye to eye all the time, but we are definitely there for each other all the time. My dad, as many of you guys know, he was a drug addict. So for many years, my mom tried to help him. We went to multiple rehabs. He did um, different programs. He would get out, be sober for a couple of months. But sadly, at the end, he, he chose drugs over his family. He didn't care about us anymore. But before all that, my dad was a great father. I think the girls, me, especially me, Adriana got the best of him. He loved taking us out on bike rides, just taking us out to play. He would spoil us. Every weekend we would go out with him. My mom was always working. She was more concerned about like the well-being of the house and my dad was more of the fun parent. Um, I know Danny didn't get the best of him, but Danny's definitely him. They act a lot each other they do just seeing that he's like you're seeing my dad um i am very sad that due to drugs he didn't get to meet his grandkids so next time you know when people you see somebody that's drugged out in the street you gotta think about it that that could be somebody's dad somebody's father somebody's grandpa and sometimes it might seem like it's their choice but sometimes it's not sometimes it just it's too much for them that they don't even it's not them mentally anymore it's the drugs but um thank you to everybody and um we'll always be grateful for anybody that had that was there for us throughout this whole time <laughs>